What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome back to my FIFA 15 Team of the Week predictions. Welcome back guys, today we're going to be predicting the Team of the Week number 3. I am sorry for not uploading a video for Team of the Week number 2 predictions. I was actually not available for that day to be able to make a video or anything and I really should have planned it a bit earlier but something came up um, which I had to go and sort out. But uh, we're back, um, Team of the Week number 3 coming out on the 1st of October, the first Team of the Week in October. And we've got some fairly solid players, obviously Cristiano Ronaldo in form last week plus some other very very strong players and we've got a couple of decent players in this week's team of the week as well i'll tell you why i've chosen them and i'll tell you why some players aren't in there when i get around it but we're going to start off straight into the team and we're going to start off with the goalkeeper and i decided to go for hugo loris the spurs keeper spurs came up against arsenal ended up finishing 1-1 hugo loris making six saves with some very very good saves in that collection as well and um, i think he deserves a inform card also you've got players like Buffon for Juventus, picking up a penalty save, but not as many saves in their 3-0 win over Atalanta. So he is a choice for the goalkeeper position. Moving on to the defence, we've got three at the back. First we're going to have here is going to be this player here, Kor Luka, an ex-Spurs player. Now plays in the Russian League for one of the Moscow teams. Um, and um, he actually picked up two goals from centre-back and man of the match in his team's 3-1 victory over Amkar there. Um, fairly solid performance. Uh, two goals from any centre-back is a very, very good performance. Unfortunately, couldn't get the clean sheet, but still a fantastic performance indeed. And there's also a number of decent defenders who got two goals as well um, during the week. So there's a number of players that could also rotate to, to take his spot. Moving on to the next player, this player here, Phil Jagielka, the Everton player, centre-back. And this guy scored an absolute scorcher. And again, another one of the competitive derby games, shall I say, in the Barclays Premier League. Obviously, coming against Liverpool in their 1-1 draw, um, Phil Jagielka could have scored a fantastic goal in the, I think there's about a few minutes remaining to get to his team at the point and a very, very good performance by him in the centre-back position as well. Moving on to the final player in centre-back, we have this player here, Daniel Schwab. Um, I'm not sure if I got that pronunciation right as it is a German name, uh, but to play for Stuttgart in the Bundesliga, he picked up a goal, a clean sheet and man of the match in his team's 1-0 victory over Hanover there. Fantastic performance by him and actually looks like a very, very good in-form card as well. And also say this now, that overall rating has gone up but none of the stats on the card have been changed, guys, so take that into account. Moving on midfield, the first we're going to have here is going to be Landon Donovan. Um, he actually played left mid in his LA Galaxy's, I think it was a 4-0 victory over New York Red Bull. This guy picked up a goal and three assists and man of the match, as well as player of the week for the MLS in that game. Fantastic performance by him, and he's definitely going to be on the team of the week, I am for sure. Moving on to the next player, the centre mid. First we're going to have here is going to be a silver player, Albin Ekdal. Plays for Calgary in the Serie A, and this guy picked up a hat-trick and man of the match in the centre mid possession in his team's 4-1 victory over Inte. Fantastic performance by him. I think he got a hat-trick within 15 minutes or something like that. Very, very good performance indeed. It looks like a very, very strong silver card for the Celia. A. Moving on to the next player, this player here, Alan Dazgovic. I'm not too sure if I got that pronunciation right at all, uh, but um, plays for CSK, a Moscow in the Russian League, and um, actually played as a centre mid or CDM, you could say, in the game. Um, came up against Euro SR and actually picked up a goal and two assists and man of the match in his team's 4 3 victory. Dumbia coming on from the bench to put two in the back on that as well. Fantastic performance by him, and we could see him on the team all week. Moving on to the final player in midfield, we have this player here. Nolito, um, or Nolito, uh, plays for Centro Vigo in the Liga BVA, and um, this guy had a fairly solid couple of games recently. Um, um, first game on, I think it was on the weekend, Saturday, um, he picked up a goal and man of the match in his team's 1-0 victory over Elche, so a crucial goal for that one. And then midweek, he picked up a goal and assist and man of the match in his team's 2-1 victory. Uh, so again, some fantastic performances by him. Um, you could almost argue that um, if, if he wasn't there, they wouldn't have got the win and the full three points. So fantastic performance by him, and we could see him out on the left wing. Moving on to the centre mid, centre attacking mid, or um, centre forward, shall I say, we have Messi. Um, and you're probably thinking, where is Neymar? Obviously, Barcelona ended up beating their, I think it was Granada, 6-0, absolute domination. Both Messi and Neymar had some fantastic performances indeed. Neymar picking up a hat-trick from left wing, Messi picking up two goals and two assists, and man of the match in that game from the striker spot. And I decided to go for Messi just because this early on, Neymar picking up two informed cards is going to be quite deadly, and I can't really see them 
doing um, EA doing that, and I'm guessing EA are going to want Messi as an inform card just due to the fact that Ronaldo got one last week. So I think that'd be a good way of getting people to buy some more packs in the early stages of FIFA 15. So I think that'd be the main attraction for this week's team of the week, Lionel Messi in the striker spot, and um, obviously that's going to be a fantastic card. Moving on to the final players of the starting eleven, the strikers. First we're going over here is going to be this player here, Carlos Tevez, the Juventus striker, uh, picking up two goals in his team's 3-0 victory over Atalanta. That is the main reason I didn't put Buffon on in, just because Tevez is in the team. Um, two fairly solid goals as well. And moving on to the final player of the starting eleven, we have Edin Dzeko, the Manchester City striker. Again, picking up two goals and man of the match in his team's 4-2 victory over Hull City there. Again, two very, very well-finished goals. Moving on to the subs bench here. First we're going to have here is going to be this player here, Lawman Berkey, I think it is. I'm not too sure on that pronunciation. Uh, but plays for Flyberg in the Bundesliga. This Swiss keeper picked up eight saves, a clean sheet, and man of the match in his team's 0-0 draw with Bayer Leverkusen. Fantastic performance by him indeed in goal. Moving on to the next player, this player here, Razvan Olat, plays in the Greek League for PAOK. I'm not too sure if it is um, a abbreviation. Um, but um, he picked up two goals and a clean sheet in his team's 4-0 victory. You've also got Busman or Busman um, from, I think it is, Met in the French League. Un having a very, very similar performance as well, picking up two assists and man of the match in that game. Moving on to the next player, this player here, Glaham Dolland, plays in West Brom, um, West Brom camp against, sorry, Burnley. Ended up winning at 4-0 on Sunday, and this guy picked up a goal and two assists and man of the match in that game. Very, very solid performance by him, and we could see him a very, very good, solid player for the BPL Silver teams. Moving on to the next player, this player here. Um, I'm not going to try pronouncing his name, uh, but plays for Vitesse. Um, played centre mid in their 4-3-3. Um, and um, actually, his default was a cam, so we could see him in a cam for position card, sorry. Uh, but uh, picked up a hat-trick and man of the match in his team's 6-2 domination. Moving on to the next player, this player here. Yolibe plays, I believe, is in the Mexican League for a team called Millones. Um, and um, he picked up four goals in his team's 4-0 victory over Fortaleza. Moving on to the next player of this player here, um, Colby Sigrothen, I think it is, um, uh, plays for Ajax, another Eredivisie player, and he picked up a hat-trick. Unfortunately, he couldn't put four in the back of that, missing a penalty, but still a hat-trick from any player in his team's 5-2 victory is a fantastic performance. And moving on to the final player of this week's team of the week, we have this other striker, Philippe Jadorvica. Um, fucking hell, I got that pronunciation so wrong. Uh, but uh, plays for Lazio up front, cr um, thinking Serbian striker, and uh, he picked up a hat Patrick and man of the match in his team's 4-0 victory over Palmelo um, in the Celi at Looks like an okay strike. I don't know. The pace isn't there, so it's probably going to be a discard price striker. But uh, let's have a look at the team in their ratings and stuff like that. As you can see there, not a bad team of the week. You could obviously feature Messi in there. I'm sorry, um, Neymar in there. Messi's in there. Tevez, um, Zeko, um, very, very good players. You've got some okay centre-backs. Lloris as well, and some decent silver players to build some very, very good silver teams as well. So not a bad team of the week at all, guys. Um, but guys, this is my prediction for team of the week number three. If you think I've missed any players, any players that you should have think seen on that screen or on the subs bench, put that in the comments, put the reasons why, and I'll be sure to feedback why I chose or why I didn't choose them. Also, remember to hit that like button. Also, remember to subscribe. Stay tuned to the series and other. go and check out other videos on my channel. I've recently released a FIFA 15 at Starters Sell It Ass Squad, which seems to be proving very, very good uh, coming up against some people online. So go and check that out as well. But guys, this comes towards the end of the episode. This has been Christ. Till next time, adios.